see you, you know? Who wants it? Be literal. Like what does it mean to be literal? One person just tell me, yes, Ashley, you are gonna be responsible. To be Same. educated, and when you're educated, what does and that I mean? And I say you find yourself for the instrument of influence. You can't read that sense. I'm really gonna pay the consequence. Rebel speaks again. I say be careful what you teach your little children. Make sure I know something to hurt them. Mind what you say to my sister. She could be the next prime minister. I say for watch what you say to me, doctor. Cause in the long run, she could be your doctor. Oh, you feel mention that to me, son, Dan. I mean, a woman, it could have it on a gunman. Still, you never listen. Your ears must be missing. Every day you say you're gonna shine and a glisten. You're talking to the scream and the lighter and the whistle. It look like you forget all about that blessing. The words not from your mouth. Meditation of your heart should be free from negative. Half every sad. The way forward in Jamaica. If any at all we need to get this country moving forward, it is very important that our children are careful what you say. My name is Yawani Margaret. I want to be an experience. You understand we have a class youth in Philos. Presently he's not living in Jamaica. But he always has been on his heart. But he still loves the institution. And now I'll invite Mr. Stanberry to speak with you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Stanberry. I learned to read here at my at age 14. You know, I learned to read because of you know, A, Apple, every day. So I was ashamed to be in a class. So they cut out the badness, they cut out the fighting, they cut out the everything. And I had to really buckle up. No fighting, no misbehaving. And I ended up here at Leonard as a head boy. I graduated from Leonard. It was the only well, secondary school then. I was the only student that year doing safety. I did six um, accounting and my own for the evening class and you know only students and class in the here. The principal But the fact that I, I, I excel at men and here is the fact that I change from me. It is to show them the way and if you don't then somebody, somebody have to pay so watch when you do My role model, boy, I tell you. My role model, I have two role models, you know, and they, ha they happen to be women. <laughs> One of my role models, first and foremost, is my mother. Because I think my mother has um, really caused me to be who I am and where I am. Where I am. So she's my number one role model because I tell you, she made blood out of stone. It's a little term that we use, I mean, she went beyond the possible and went into the realms of impossibility to ensure that uh, myself and my siblings were well taken care of, even as a single parent. But for me, it's that she shows the true strength of a woman. And I, and I kind of admire those characteristics about her. That's a hard one. <laughs> I think that um, the problem with young people from my standpoint is that lots and lots of things. And it starts from the home. So for some people, parenting. So you find that when they get into the wider society, they don't know how to be. Then you take it from the home now to the community. The community has changed. When I was a child and growing up in one state, it was the community that raised the child. So no child was allowed to misbehave in the, in, in the presence of an adult and not get reprimanded. 
I want to recommend that child, the parents at home would support it. You'll find it's different now where if an adult reprimand the child on the street and they go home and tell the parents, the parents want to come and have a fight and curse out the others. So people just really don't care the way they used to. So it's a part of this home, it's a part of the society. And I believe that influences from music, different things, the internet, and think that those are peer pressure so but I think people have taken it too far. That answer you? <laughs> oh, well, in the Jamaica Constabulary, of course, it's a male-dominated organization. So a female in a male-dominated organization is no easy thing. Everything you do, you have to do it twice as hard. Everything you have to do, you have to be at your best. So for me, is that um, I, I had to I had to compete with the men for the limited position that I have. But part of it is that it, it goes back to education because I left school. I never left with any CXC. Because my mother could not afford to pay for it. So already I was a disadvantage. I had some SSC because I did those and I passed through. But what I realized now that I needed to do something else in order to compete for senior management positions within the tours. So because I had to compete for those, also I had to go back to school, get a good education, make sure that you're qualified as a manager, so that when the time comes now for you to be selected from among a group of a large number of persons, you would have been at an advantage because you work hard, you have a good education and you're disciplined. <laughs> and thus you'll be able to make an impact on today's society and being literate you will be able to contribute to your country to your community and by large you'll be able to make a great contribution to the world I'm actually gonna pay the consequence. Rebel speaks again. I say, be careful what you teach your little children. Make sure I know something to hurt them. Mind what you're saying to my sister. She could be the next prime minister. I say, for watch what you're saying to me, doctor. Cause in the long run, she could be your doctor. Oh, you feel mentioned that to me, son, Dan. I mean, a woman, they come up with a gun, man. Still, you never listen. Your ears must be missing. Every day you say you're gonna shine and a glisten. You're talking for the scream and the lighter and the whistle. It look like you forget all about that blessing. The rest not from your mouth. Meditation of your heart to be free from negative. Of every side, what I would I need to talent to grow. I want to do, but I want to be a soldier. My turn. My name is My name is Tawana Morgan. I want to be a doctor. My name is Tawana Morgan. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a
You're talking for the scream and the lighter and the whistle It look like you forget all about that blessing The words not from your mouth Meditation of your heart should be free from negative Half every sad Want a good come, you better go a good calf Be careful what you inject What you inject in the youth, them talk and just